Good afternoon, everybody. It is Tuesday, uh, July 4th, and I hope that you're having a great Independence Day. And don't forget um, how God has provided uh, for this country and giving us this freedom. And not only, you know, freedom to speak and, you know, uh, the right to bear arms and these things, which are very important and which we should have, but really the most important of all these things that the Lord has blessed this country with is the freedom of of worship and that we're able to worship God without fear of persecution. You know, when you look at all these different countries, um, many of them still today are facing a lot of persecution uh, and it's not talked about much uh, today, but a lot of them are facing a uh, harsh persecution and uh, we are definitely living comfortably here and, you know, not fear of persecution of you know, uh, being killed or tortured uh, for for our faith. So let us use this opportunity that we have here in America to spread the gospel, because um, who knows, one day we might face, you know, persecution and fear of death and these things in the future. But as we have opportunity now, uh, let us spread the gospel and get uh, God's word out. And Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for what you have done here in this country and giving us this freedom. And uh, what a blessed people we are. And I pray that you would help us to, as we have this freedom, to live for you and to share the gospel uh, openly and not be afraid of what men might say, but to trust you in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we are in uh, Philippians chapter 4. Philippians um, chapter 4 and verse um, 19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory uh, by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. And I'm sure many of you have been in need before. Maybe um, you've been short on funds or maybe not even a financial need. Maybe it's been spiritual or, you know, emotional. I, I'm not sure, uh, you know, what you've been through in your life, but I know that God... Uh, can supply uh, your need. Now, it doesn't say that my God shall supply all our wants. We have a lot of wants, but I do know for sure that God will supply all your need, whether that is, you know, a financial need, or maybe you're praying about uh, a lost relative or friend, and you're praying that they would accept Christ as uh, their Savior. And uh, I would ask you to keep praying for them, and, you know, don't give up, don't lose hope, um, and God, you know, he can work in their life, and the Lord can strengthen you. No matter what you're going through, the Lord is, can be with you, and he will be with you. It says in the book of Hebrews and Deuteronomy that he will never leave you nor forsake you, and so hold on to those promises of God. Um, so once again, we're going to be looking at another devotion today, um, and this one is about George Miller, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with that name. Um, he was he had many orphanages in Bristol, England. Um, he was originally from Germany, and he came to um, England, and he was trying to reach the Jews. But after he was seeing all the um, like the poverty and the children being in the workhouses and you know, just the awful situation at that time with, with the children on the streets. Uh, he was trying to do something uh, about this. And so he relied upon God to provide these orphanages and, and to do work. And if you have never seen a picture of these orphanages and uh, heard the story of George Miller, I would ask you to look it up. It really is amazing what the Lord uh, did through the life of George Miller. Um, but not only could... God do a work through George Miller. God can do a work through you. It may not be in the same way. You may not start orphanages and you may not, um, you know, do things like that. But the Lord can use you um, in a spectacular way. And the Lord wants to use you. Um, this is a quote from George Miller. He says, my Lord is not limited. He knows my present situation and he can supply all I need. And if you have ever read a biography or autobiography of of George Miller, you realize that and there were several times where they were in need. There were, um, you know, mornings where he would be wondering where are they going to get the food or where they were going to get the milk and, and things like this. 
And time after time, the Lord would provide um, uh, these needs for him. And he, and it is said, he wouldn't ask others uh, for money or for these things, but he would ask the Lord, and the Lord would uh, graciously provide these things um, for him. And um, this is a quote um, from George Miller talking about uh, many, many Christians and us today would say, well, I can't have the faith of George Miller. But the thing is, we still serve the same God. The same God that provided for George Miller is the same God that can br- provide for me and you. And this is what he said. I certainly did from my heart desire to be used by God to benefit the bodies of poor children bereaved of both parents and seek in other respects with the help of God to do, to do them good for this life. I also particularly long to be used by God in getting the dear orphans trained up in the fear of the Lord. But still the first and primary object of the work and still is that God might be magnified by the fact that the orphans under my care are provided with all they need only by prayer and faith uh, without anyone being asked by me or my fellow laborers, whereby it may be seen that God is faithful still, still and hears prayer still. Um, and this is what he said to those who um, said that God couldn't, you know, um, they didn't have the faith like George Miller. He said, do you not think these Answers to prayer are only for us and cannot be enjoyed by all the saints. Every child of God is not called by the Lord to establish schools and orphan houses and the trust in the Lord for means for them. Yet there is no reason why you may not experience far more abundantly than we do now his willingness to answer the prayers of his children. My faith is the same faith which is found in every believer. It has been increasing little by little for the last 26 years. Many times when I could have gone insane from worry, I was in peace because my soul believed the truth of that promise. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. And that's based out of Romans uh, 8 and verse 28. And it, it's an amazing story if you if you read through the life of George Mueller. Uh, but don't just think, and like what George Mueller said, it's not just for him. The Lord is not just going to do a work through George Mueller, but the Lord can do a work with you. And the Lord still answers prayer, and he is always faithful. And let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for your faithfulness. And even when we're not faithful, uh, you are always faithful. And I pray that we would trust you at your word, and I pray that you would meet our daily needs, and that we would give our lives uh, unto you as a daily sacrifice. And I pray that you would bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you guys for watching. I pray that you have a great day.